<laughs> but what's up, game is your boy Beast Gamer Kuma with our spoiler-free review of Jitsu Squad. Yeah, I, I helped back this game a few years back, and to be fair, I didn't know about it until I saw a video from Maximilian Dude who played the game. Apparently, he got put into the game as a power-up item. So I had to check this out for myself. It was one of the better of the Kickstarter games that I backed because, for one, they had an available demo right off jump you don't even have to back the game up yet you got a demo and once i played it i was already sold because i'm a sucker for good beat em up games and this one actually has a lot of fantastic things that i enjoy anthropomorphic characters martial arts and the beat em up actually has move sets that you have to do like a fighting game so let's get into this you have four characters to choose from you have jazz a moon who seems to be a frog monk i want to say then you have the main character, Hiro Yamagiwa. I'm probably butchering his name like crazy at the moment. Baby Ohara, which is pretty cool. And then you got the Viking, Aros Helgeson. <laughs> He's a boar who's a Viking. I'm not surprised by that at all. But yeah, they give you a whole quick tutorial on the game, which is very nice. So you have a training mode, and then the game already puts you into a tutorial to show you exactly what you need to do. But the story goes, there's a legendary statue called the Kuzanaki Stone. And I'm probably, like, again, I'm butchering these names like crazy. It looks evil as hell. And it contains the soul of a powerful demon. Now you know where this goes, there's going to be a few oppositions that's going to want this stone to release that demon, but then you are the heroes four that need to stop this from happening. And pretty much your resurrected warriors that attain these super abilities to handle all these enemies. I have to say, even though it's a simple story, I dig it. Like I said, visually, I wish this was a comic book or an anime in some form because it looks visually stunning and the controls work really well. You got a choice of using keyboard or um, gamepad. Honestly, I'm using my Xbox gamepad because, yeah, reasons this game definitely deserves the gamepad treatment. Each stage has its own uniqueness, starting from a classic traditional area called Sakura Hills, and you go into the city landscapes. And the best part about it is how you select different levels or areas, you actually have a spaceship. This is where things get super interesting as you're thinking that this is going to be your traditional, you know, beat em up game, but you have a spaceship and you go to different planets. And each planet will have a different set of bosses, events, and of course power ups. As you play through this game, like I'm, I'm stuck with Hero right now, I'm just playing as Hero, you can utilize all these different movesets, your X button Y for your special um, sword attack that you get when you find an item on the ground and there are a few different types of swords. So far my favorite is the flame one that looks like something from Bleach, I have to say. And that's his own set of combos. There's a delay combo where you hit X, pause for about two seconds, hit X again to do a devastating attack, down and X, so far so forth. Like I said, special moves out the wise with this. He Hero himself has this like sonic boom attack. He has a tornado attack, which it causes like a nice area of defense. And of course, you have different meter burns that you can lose out of special abilities. As this game has also has a grind element, which is pretty cool because the more enemies you fight, they drop these scrolls, and the more scrolls you obtain will unlock more abilities. The Next ability that I unlocked was this Super Sentai mode where you hit the LB button and he goes into a power armor set. I haven't seen something like that in a long time. It kind of reminds me of Kid Chameleon in a way. And they show a human form of the person going into this Uber armor and you get this invincibility for a few seconds. It was actually a long, whatever, how long that meter goes, it was pretty good long time to help me beat some of these bosses. And these bosses are tough. But other than that, the best, the other features that I would say that are best about this game is it also features remote play. So let's say you don't have three other people to play with. You can actually invite your friends that don't own the game and play with you remotely. So they, you just be the host, you invite them in, and they can take over the other three spots. That's freaking cool. I wish a lot of other games did that too because, you know, you want to sh share play with other friends. So that would be the share play feature. That's what I meant to say. Not, well, they call it remote play, but I say it's more share play, if anything. 
I'm only 74 minutes into this game. I'm going to be real with you. But I wanted to get a idea out of what I played so far to give y'all, you know, not spoilers, not in the end game yet. But so far, I am captivated and I'm going to have a lot of fun with this game for more. I'm just wanting to play with more people soon, which is going to be a whole other stream, if anything. But as of right now, I'm definitely going to give Jitsu Squad a 5 out of 5. I'm sorry. It's a, I'm not sorry about that. It's a, if it's a perfect fighting beat em up game that has nothing janky like microtransactions and anything of that nature, it's just a fun, solid game that was definitely catered to the, that particular set of fans. I love this game. The game is fun. And yeah, yeah, this game is dope. And I like the power ups and abilities that you can obtain in this game. I'm going to try out other characters, but yeah, I'm going to do a later full stream of this with some buddies and i hope to see y'all there so you know check out the links in below uh please share your thoughts if you have this game let's team up and play it check it out enjoy it you know other than that it's available right now there's a 20 percent discount on it right now so i would definitely look it up on steam and try it out for yourself other than that thank you all for watching please hit that like and subscribe button we are at 534 subscribers it's almost there trying to reach a thousand by the end of the year let's see what happens let's see how this works out well than that thank you all for showing up i hope you enjoy and as always be stepped